Hey y'all, I'm back again, and I want to show y'all, I don't know if you want to call it a tip or a tutorial or a little instructional video, but I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect rice, and it goes against everything we've been told. You know, you either put it in a rice cooker, or you measure twice the water to the rice, and you bring it, your water to a boil, add your rice, put the lid on, and cook it about 20 minutes. This is totally different. I have a friend who worked in a college cafeteria and they made lots of rice and this is how they cooked it. It doesn't matter how much rice you cook. Put it in your pot and cover it three or four inches with water and put a couple of tablespoons of oil in there. This keeps it from sticking together. And then check it. You don't want it really, really soft. It needs to still have a little bit of shape to it, a bite to it. Take it off and drain it. Rinse it. You don't rinse it before you boil it. You rinse it after you boil it. You rinse it really well and then uh, drain it the best you can. Put it in your bowl and toss it with some butter or some oil, salt and pepper, whatever seasoning you want on it. Now, I've got four cups of rice in my big pot and I've covered it, well covered it with water. And it's just now starting to boil. So I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes because that's the usual time. And we'll see if that's just about right. Once it, your rice is tender, then you take it off the fire and strain it and rinse it. Put it back in your pot and season it, and it's fluffy and it's not gummy and it works just perfectly. So I'll be back in a minute when the rice is boiled and it's tender, and then we'll strain it up and see. So to simmer, so I'm going to let it boil and I'll test it and see, and when it gets tender, then we'll strain it and um, flavor it and see what it's like. I've got a couple of casseroles coming up that I need rice for. So I thought that I would go ahead and cook it and give y'all a tutorial on how to cook it without worrying about putting the lid on it. Don't lift the lid and don't stir it. This way is much easier. Okay, my rice is done. Um, I boiled it for about 16 minutes and then I strained it and it is soft and fluffy and perfect. I hope you guys will try this. You can use a half a cup, a cup of rice. I did four cups. So I think this is a keeper that y'all will want to put in your recipe file. Especially when you're cooking a great big old whole bunch of rice and you don't have a rice cooker big enough or you can just go ahead and get one big pot done at one time like if you're doing gumbo or something. This is an easy method, and the reason they used it in the cafeteria is because they had to make such huge amounts of rice to serve for the day. So I hope y'all take this tip and use it. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I like to get tips like this from somebody and use it, and I have enjoyed having Cindy told me how to do this, and Brenda told her, and they'll know who I'm talking about. So I'm thankful to have learned it and to be able to use it in my kitchen and I hope y'all do the same thing. So I'm gonna sign off for tonight. It's been a long day and I will be back tomorrow with another good recipe. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself. Be very careful and hurry back.